Tokyo proudly proclaimed itself the 1964 Olympic City. Many establishments on the Ginza, Tokyo's fashionable shopping district, displayed the Olympic emblem of the five rings. The city's largest jewelry store added its welcome with a soft night-lighted sign. A 20-story building was quite appropriate for the five rings and the Olympic flame. The torch lighted in Greece has reached Tokyo and the following day was carried to the stadium for the opening ceremony. It was a better day for the opening ceremony. The national stadium with a capacity of 75,000 was the focal point of the Olympics for eight days of track and field events. One of the four bands that came on the track marched to their place on the far side of the stadium. Later they played in relays while the athletes from 94 competing countries formed ranks on the beautiful grass infield. Flag bearers of the many countries, followed by their respective athletes led by Greece, made a half circle of the track, then on to the infield. The remainder came on the track in alphabetical order. Colorful were the Cameroon athletes, followed by Canada, the men with the cowboy hats. Several other countries are now in the infield with the Australian contingent about to enter. The East and West Germans combined to compete as one and displayed the Olympic emblem on the West German flag. The assembly on the infield is taking on large proportions. Dressed in their native flowing brown robes are the athletes from Ghana. Resounding applause broke loose as the American team made its appearance. Then came the Russian team in white and gray. The Japanese representing the host country completed the parade. With a gracious salute to their emperor, they doffed their hats. The chairman of the Japanese Olympic Organizing Committee and Avery Brundage, president of the International Olympic Committee, gave the opening addresses. From Rome, scene of the last Olympics, the official Olympic flag was ceremoniously delivered by an Italian warship. It was carried on the field and hoisted by five members of the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force, during which the Olympic hymn was sung by a 350 voice chorus. Releasing 10,000 balloons signaled the approach of the torchbearer with the flame that had been ignited in Greece 50 days prior. It traveled through 13 countries and was relayed by thousands of runners. The distance by land, air, and sea was many thousands of miles. In the eyes of the Japanese people, a great hero of the Olympics is the 18-year-old runner carrying the final torch to light the flame atop of the stadium, for he was the first baby born in Hiroshima after the atomic blast. The Olympics are now officially open. The Olympic Village housed some 6,500 odd Olympians and each group had its native chef. Transportation by bicycle or bus was available to the training grounds and the stadiums. The new national gymnasium drew huge crowds for the swimming events. Among the first events to get underway after the October 10th opening ceremonies was swimming and diving at the National Gymnasium. 
In the event now on the screen, the second heat of the 400-meter freestyle relay, the United States team of Clark, Illman, Austin, and Schallander won handsomely. This team later on won the finals in the event and set a new world record. Back to the National Stadium, locale of the track and field competition, in time to see the star of the 10,000 meter run. The runners got off to a fast start, and they all scrambled to make the inside glean as they went around the south turn. Coming along the straightaway, they started to spread out. Mills USA is in second position. On this lap he is leading. At home, Mills almost did not make the team. Avery Brundage, sitting in the Imperial section, followed the race intently. Mills running fifth with only 30 meters to go unleashed a terrific sprint to win and establish a new Olympic record. It was a great race. Coming out to receive their medals are the winners of the 10,000 meter race in which Mills came from behind to win with a spectacular speed of a 100 meter sprinter. Making the presentation is Avery Brundage. With an early autumn dusk settling over the stadium, the floodlights were turned on. The spectators were always alerted when the presentation was to take place by the band playing the Japan National Anthem. The silver medal winner was Grimaldi of Tunisia and the bronze to Clark of Australia. On the bright morning following, the first event was the women's of 100 meter dash. In the lead is White of USA, Arden of Great Britain second, and Lazia of Russia third. The emperor was to be in attendance on this day. The royal box was fittingly to be decked for the Olympiad. Our camera was able to take a close up of Emperor Hirohito with the empress at his left. In the first of the semifinal heats in the 100 meter dash, the runners are waiting for the gun. And get off to a fast start, USA Thunderbolt Hayes in lane six is picking up speed to take the lead with Maniac of Poland second and Robinson of Bahama third. Before being called, the pole vaulters got in some practice faults. We photographed in slow motion this photo from Germany going over the bar, the type of shot the athletic coaches like to see. In normal speed, we got Pennell, USA going down the strip and over the bar. Again in slow motion, we got Pemilton, USA, going over the bar with about three feet to spare. The bar is now set at four foot 20 meters or 14 feet one inch. To qualify for the finals, they had to clear at 15 feet. The walkers are off on a 20,000 meter grind. The motion seemed queer to these Japanese. The walkers left the stadium to cover the 20,000 meters or about 13 miles in the neighboring wards of Tokyo. Another grueling race was the 3,000 meter steeplechase. 
They are about to clear the first hurdle. Are now going down the back stretch and clearing the second hurdle. And now running toward the third hurdle, which includes the water jump. Now the last lap in the last hurdle, Oliveria of Portugal is first, Bilyev of Russia second, and El Gazi of Morocco third. In the discus throw, finalist order of U.S. now throwing won the event, also establishing a new Olympic record of 61 meters, about 210 feet. Second was Danica of Czechoslovakia, and Weil of USA was third. After covering 13 miles of city street pavements, the winner of the walk has just entered the stadium to make one circuit of the track. He is now coming down the home stretch and finishing strong. The winner is Matthews of Great Britain. Linda of Germany was second. And Gulup Nitschi of Russia third. After nailing down the stalling blocks, the girls are off in this heat of the 80 meter hurdles in the pentathlon series of five events. The Huckster girls, so neat in their trim outfits with the five ring colors, were ever present, but no shouting of the wares that is so prevalent in our stands. Time out from the track to take a look at the battery professional cameras in this section. Directly below, the triple jump is being conducted. The jumper is La Singh of India. We just had to get a shot of him on his return. Davis, USA, also on a triple jump, formerly known as the hop, skip, and jump, is about to make his leap, which we photographed in slow motion. These slow motion shots are much used in training for it permits not only the coaches, but the jumpers as well to rectify any faults in their style. A wandering camera followed this man from Nigeria, apparently looking for his seat. Made several attempts to catch up with him so as to get a good shot. Now the women javelin throwers are in action in the qualifying rounds. The European women, as with the men, excel in this field. The gold medal winner in the finals was Penis of Romania, silver went to Rudas of Hungary, and the bronze to Korkakova of Russia. Start our camera in time to see Corley USA with a sensational finish win the 400 meter hurdle gold medal, also breaking the Olympic record for this event. Cooper of Great Britain was second and Morale of Italy third. The second heat of the women's 100 meter semifinals is being won by Tyus USA, Klubikowski of Poland second and White US third. Outside the stadium the next morning, we came upon this exponent of the great outdoors who seemed exuberantly healthy. Shall we call him Nature Boy? With the sky so clear, it was just the right time to take a shot of that great Olympic flame, which will remain burning for the duration of this Olympiad. Also, on this warm, sunny day, we caught these natives, sons and daughters, with their sun protectors on. The finals in the shot put are underway, and that is Long USA putting the iron ball way out. Bajo Hungary also heaved to a good distance. This man overstepped the ring. A foul was called on him, but he will get another try. 
Matson, USA pudding. The winner was Long, U.S. Second, Matson, U.S. And third, Vajo, Hungary. Immediately following the shot put, the finals of the 200 meter dash got underway. Coming into the home stretch, Car USA in lane seven put on a terrific sprint to win from Drayton, USA, with Roberts of Trinidad third. Car established a new Olympic record. Starting in the shadow of the grandstand at the 400 meter women's final, rounding the curve and heading for the straightaway they go. Coming into the home stretch, we saw a duel between Cuthbert and Amori, both of Australia, but Packer of Great Britain came in fast to clinch second place. The press section provided a tiny TV set for each correspondent to keep abreast of events at other Olympic installations. There were 200 of these. Henry Carr, Drayton, and Roberts received their medals for finishing one, two, three in the 200 meter day. The national anthem of the winner's country was played at each medal presentation. Oh, but the next morning was a Lulu. I've never seen so many umbrellas, but the stadium was filled to capacity nevertheless, and in Olympic rules and law, the games must go on. It was a slippery day for the hammer throwers, in a puddle of water to sling a heavy iron ball around their heads. Time was called to swish the water out of the throwing circle. The hammer throwing went on with Klim of Russia winning, second place to Sadutsky of Hungary, with Spire of Germany third. A new Olympic record was set. We have heard of puddle jumpers in the past, and here we actually saw them as they scaled the hurdles in this 110 meter semifinal heat. More umbrellas and a casualty in the ladies' hurdle race, Miss Wingerson of Canada. Undaunted, the girls raced on over the sticks. The 5,000 meter finals are now in progress on this track of puddles with Shul USA running in sixth position. Now in fifth position as they came down a straightaway to go into the last lap. And now coming down the home stretch, Shulman caught a terrific sprint that gave him first place to win by a wide margin with Norforth of Germany second and Dillinger of USA third. Waiting to receive their medals are Shul, Northport, and Dellinger, who finished one, two, three in the 5,000 meter run. On this day, the lovely kimonos the girls had been wearing were missing, and who could blame them with such weather? And thus ended the fifth day of track and field competition. We had a brilliantly bright morning the next day. The games opened with the ladies throwing the discus, a Russian entry just through. The girl in the red trunks is throwing for Poland. As in the javelin throw, the Europeans excel. A German girl now throwing. Even our one U.S. entry, Olga Conley, was Polish-born. The gold medal went to Press of Russia, the silver to Lots of Germany, and the bronze to Monolin of Romania. The band usually arrived about mid-afternoon to be on hand for playing the national anthems at the presentation exercises. 
girls again nailed down their starting blocks for the semifinals and the 80 meter hurdles. They're off to a fast start and down the stretch at the finish it was Germany, Japan and Yugoslavia. That really went over big with the Japanese. This group of spectators seemed awed by the sight of the Herculean women shot putters performing in the field. Making the put is Press of Russia, who won the gold medal in this event. Now putting is Young of New Zealand, who missed the bronze medal by finishing fourth. And that is Kohlberg of Germany, who was runner-up to press to win the silver medal. Schedule now with the women's 800 meter finals in winning heat. They got off to a clean start going around the south turn. Now they're bunched. They heard the bell ringing to start the second and final lap. Coming into the home stretch, the little girl in white, Packer of Great Britain, unleashed a terrific sprint to take the gold medal away. Duperine of France was second, with Chamberlain of New Zealand finishing third. And here is the young heroine. On this seventh day of track and field, the medal presentation ceremonies also took place early. These are the girls who won in the 800 meter race. They are Packer of Great Britain, Dupree of France, and Chamber of New Zealand. It was pleasant to see the metal birds again attired in their kimonos. Had we learned how to use chopsticks, we could have joined this fellow at lunch. Along with the whiskers, a haze set in as they started the 1500 meter run. Soon after getting underway, the great Peter Snell of New Zealand, as usual, was running last, but moving up as they came along to finish the first lap and running to get close to the rail. Unfortunately, it turned into a real murky day, obscuring the far side of the track. They are pretty well bunched with Snell in the middle as they enter the last lap. Coming down to the finish, Snell uncorked a terrific burst of speed to win by about 10 meters and break the world's record. Old Lazil of Czechoslovakia was second and Davies of New Zealand third. The run who fell was Wetton of Great Britain. Another most exciting race with the final heat of the 400 meter relay. They're reaching to get to the second runners. They're passing the back tone, and the second runners are lashing out. They've contacted the third. The fourth now have the back tones, and Hayes, USA, coming from behind with a lightning fast sprint to win by about three meters to a new world's record. Poland second, and France third. The high jump finals are on with Brumel of Russia winning the gold medal. The silver went to Thomas of USA and the bronze to Rambo of USA. This brought to a conclusion the eight days of track and field events. The next day in a downpour of rain we went to the Kamazawa sports complex at the outer edge of Tokyo for field hockey. With the camera under an umbrella, we saw the fast-moving game between Germany and Kenya. In the final playoff, India was first, Pakistani second, and Australia third.
At basketball, the United States won over Russia in this breathtaking new design national gymnasium annex. Since basketball was added in 1936, the United States teams have never been defeated. On the day of the closing ceremonies which took place at the National Stadium, the final equestrian event was the Olympic Grand Prix jumping competition with 16 countries competing. This took place on the infield where obstacles were set up for the jumpers. The entry making the circuit is from Great Britain. There are 14 obstacles, including a water jump of two and a half meters, which must be cleared, and two double and one triple jump. The jumping classic was won by this bumper, Junqueries of France. The team title went to Germany. This event brought to a climax the competitive aspect of the 18th Olympic. Then the obstacles will be cleared from the infield and the stadium prepared for the closing ceremonies, which will begin under the floodlights at dusk. The lighted Olympic emblem heralded the closing. The color bearers of the competing countries led the carefree athletes onto the track. They entered the infield and formed ranks as in the opening ceremonies. Conspicuous were the Japanese for their orderliness. They spotlighted Japanese flag together with the Japan, Greece, and Mexican illumination signaled the extinguishing of the flame until 1968. The 18th Olympiad was over. Then in total darkness, the Olympic flag with but one floodlight on it was lowered to be borne to Mexico City for a raising in 1968, thus commemorating the perpetuation of this great worldwide brotherhood of athletic endeavor. It was a very solemn moment. A summary of how the countries fared medal-wise shows the United States with 36 gold medals, Russia 30, Japan 16, Germany 10, and Italy 10. In the overall picture, Russia had 96 combined gold, silver, and bronze medals, the United States 90, Germany 50, Japan 29, and Italy 27. With a thunderous fireworks display, the curtain was lowered on the 18th Olympiad, the greatest of all Olympiads. That's it till 1968.